G'day guys, I'm out here on site in the backyard of Trafalgar Fire where the fat controller aka Mr. Jong Rackick has asked me to do a installation video for our new Corex fire protection steel proofing board. So I'm going to show you how to clip this around a steel member. We've mocked it up on the underside of a slab and I'll show you how easy it is to install this board. So here's our beam, uh, it's an I-beam and I've looked up the specs on this in the Corex manual and it tells me I'm going to need 20 mil board encased in a single layer all the way around the outside of the board. Um, so I'm gonna take a measurement of the, the web distance. And so that's gonna tell me what the size of the soldier or the noggin that I'm gonna need to cut. So we'll go have a look at the board now and I'll show you how to cut it. So I've cut up a strip of the Corex board. It's quite lightweight, it's a gypsum based board. Um, very strong and impact resistant. Um, so I've marked out where we're gonna cut off our little soldier that's gonna fit inside the the web of that beam we were just looking at. And you can cut this using power tools or even just a wood saw will do the trick. So it's that easy. And you want your noggins and soldiers to be 120 mil wide and we're gonna install them every 1.2 meters. So now I've got the soldier or the noggin. Um, it's cut five mil oversize into the, the web of the flange. The, um, the trick to this is they'll now cut across this with an angled cut. So we have a tapered joint, which I can then hammer in with a mallet and it'll friction fit in place. Um, so here's one that I've cut already. So I've cut it in half. It's gonna fit in like that, flush with the, uh, the end of the beam. I'll take the trusty old mallet here and just knock it into place. Now it's ready to put on the, uh, the face plates of the Corex uh, and staple them in place. So now I'm simulating nogging to nogging here at the correct centers. So I'm gonna get my piece of board, make sure it's hard up against the slab above it. It finishes flush with the underside of this. And then I'm ready to get the staple gun and put in some staples at the correct fixings. The way you fix the Corex boards together is by using staples. So I've got my trusty Airwolf pneumatic air powered staple gun and we're going to load it in and start putting the, the corex board in place. So I've got my ear hooked up and I'm going to go ahead and put in the staples at 50 mil centers. Too easy. So now I've done the exact same on the back side of this I-beam. So all that's left to do is put the capping piece along the underside, which you do in the exact same way. Place it up underneath it and then staple it through the corner. So if this was an installation where you have to have two layers of board to get the correct fire resistance level, you just gotta make sure that the second layer of board is going to be offset at the joints to the first layer of board at the correct distance as per the Corex technical manual. And that's it guys. Uh, for a full list of installation instructions, look up the Corex technical manual available on the T-Fire website. If you have any questions, feel free to email technical at tgroup.com.au. Thanks, see you next time.